We got a Lancaster Barnstormers vs. Bridgeport Bluefish IP recap. I went to two games in the series, Thursday and Sunday. I graphed Thursday and Sunday, I, or today, I didn't graph like either team, but I graphed one individual player, uh, which I will show uh, later in the video. But um, there's a lot of nice autographs in this video. Um, more quality than quantity, so um, it's fine though. It's uh, always good to get some autographs, so let me just get into it. I'll show this index card signed by Scott Patterson. Um, plays for the Barnstormers. He was kind of interesting. Um, I thought the dude played for the Cleveland Indians, um, and I asked him that, and he said he played for the Cleveland Indians, but I looked up online. Um, he didn't play for the Indians in the minors or the major league, so I have no clue why he said he played for the Indians when he didn't. But he was kind of interesting when I met him, but still, whatever. Uh, former major leaguers, that's cool. Got Blake Galen, because I ran out index cards. Really good player. Surprised he hasn't made the major leagues yet, but he's a really good player. Blake Galen for Lancaster. I will show some 4x6. For the Bluefish, I got one 4x6 signed by Jeremy Accardo. Andrew Clark for Lancaster. Game is full autograph. Really nice looking autograph. That's the best autograph I've ever seen him give. I've got, or I got uh, Brett Carroll. On four, I met this dude when he was with the Washington Nationals. And I have a photo of uh, me and him when he was with the Nats, so it's cool to talk to him again. He's such a nice dude. And the fourth four by six, Corey Wade on two. Always a good guy to get. Always really polite and nice. Former Yankee got Cody Apley for the first time. First time meeting him. He liked he liked all these photos a lot. This one and the Pirates and Lance Zawatsky full autograph right there and then two more short shorten uh, signatures and the third one then um show um some cards not many cards but uh focusing. Uh, Cole Gardner of Lancaster, signed one, first time meeting him. Jeremy Accardo on four. And then I got help um, with this guy, but uh, Tomoka on two. The Diamond Kings, 2003 Diamond Kings in the upper deck. So two more Tomokas, and then um, eight by ten. My Mets, I'm just going to make it like a Mets uh, 8x10. Uh, doesn't matter what year the player played on. I'm just going to get random Mets guys that played on the Mets. So I got Chris Schwinden up there. And I'll just show the other autographs really quick. Jamie Hoffman, Landon Powell, Buddy Carlisle, and Dan Worth. And so guys that were on the team, you know, random. Like this year or last year and stuff. So um, cool there. And then... um. Doc Gooden or, or Dwight Gooden, whatever. Uh, he was made an appearance at the Bluefish Stadium today, and I got to meet him. Um, first time meeting him, so he was super nice, really cool guy, really talkative to all the fans, and he was just like I said, a great guy. So I got a few autographs from him. I got this. I want to say '88 tops sign, and this. 2013 Alan Ginter. He has a great looking autograph. It's really cool. So those two. I got a official Major League Baseball. Or official Major League Baseball. Signed right there by Doc Gooden. And then my favorite thing I got signed. Um, if I can get it out. Is this... 8 by 10 photo signed by Doc Gooden. So, really awesome. I really love the photo a lot, and he gave a great autograph. And yeah, I got a photo with him, um, and it was just pretty awesome. So, a really surprising to meet him. Um, Bluefish just set this up like a couple weeks ago, so I was pretty happy that um, 
another like legend kind of player was coming to Bridgeport and I got a chance to meet him so um, thanks for watching everyone and I will have another recap probably like sun next Sunday or Monday uh, between the York Revolution and the Somerset Patriots I will not have a bluefish recap for a little while though so thanks for watching everyone and see you guys next time